Greetings and salutations, everyone. Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we explored the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City, as well as took on all of the trainers here in the Fuchsia City Gym. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Master of Illusions and Ninjury himself, yes, Ninjury is a word, Koga. So, let's get started. Hello, Mr. Koga. Or should I say Koga Sensei? Maybe? Koga Senpai? I, I don't I don't know. Ha 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 ha! A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Zitsible. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, let's see. Uh, let's start out with a good horn attack. And self-destruct, cause why not? Oh jeez! <laughs> I thought that was gonna do less damage than it actually did. Oh goodness. Um, let's see. Muck. Um, let's keep going. Show him what you got in to go. Defense. Okay. Oh gosh. So not only, not only is it just gonna be harder to hit him, but even if I do hit him, it'll still, I, it'll do less damage. Great. Wait. Oh my goodness. I thought Inigo was actually gonna go down, <laughs> but no. Five HP, and I missed. Now I'm going down. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm gonna try Leviathan because just because his defense has increased doesn't mean that his special defense has increased. Wait, is Surf a physical move or a special move in this generation? I can't even remember. I'm gonna take that as a special attack. And then he wants to use a Hyper Potion because why not? I'm just gonna keep on spamming Surf. And hopefully I'll hit him one day. One day. Okay, good. Now I just need to do that several more times. Come on, hit him! Jeez! Do I have any... Okay, Hyper Potion. I should stock up on more of those. Every time that it hits, I just feel good inside. I don't think the next time I hit him, it's going to KO unless I get a critical. Or I could be dead. I could be darn wrong. Yes, good. All right, he's got one more coughing. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Leviathan out. I think Leviathan's going to be a pretty big player in this battle. Good, much good. Very yes. And finally, his last Pokemon, Weezing, level 43. And I'm just gonna keep spamming Surf, because it's the best move I got right now. And that did a lot of damage! And then he's gonna use Toxic. Yay! And I think we got this. Victory! 
good. Very good. Hmm. <laughs> you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. And I got cash money. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you use Surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. And I get TM06, which is toxic. Sealed within that TM06 lies Toxin. It is a secret technique dating back some 400 years. All right, woohoo! And if we look here on my trainer card, we have our fifth Pokemon Gym Badge. Excellent. Neat. Three more to go. And now I get to just walk back to the Pokemon Center with Poison just bugging me the entire time. Maybe I should also stop by the Pokemon Mart while I'm thinking about it. I was going to the Pokemon Mart. The Poke Mart. Wait, where is the Poke Mart here? I don't think I've like ever gone to the Poke Mart here in Fuchsia City. There it is. Ah! <laughs> I'm forgetting how to go around this really simple city. Jeez. There we go. Hello. First off, let's go ahead and sell a few things. I really don't think I'll be needing any super potions. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Scroll all the way up. I think I'll get rid of these ex I mean, these regular potions. I really should reorganize this as well. I'm also gonna sell two of these nuggets just because I could really use some extra money. Um, I will never use any of the X items in battle. The only times I've ever seen anybody use any of the like X accuracies or X defenses or X anything, any of those battle moves, are in speed runs, and this is clearly not a speed run. So yeah, I'll probably eventually use the um, the vitamins to help out raise my Pokemon stats, but for right now I'm just gonna chill out and just buy a few things. Oh really? Huh, darn. Well, I can at least get some revives here. Let's go ahead and get 10. Hopefully when we go to the next city, then we can... Um, we can stock up on some much needed hyper potions, hopefully. But where is the next city? Where are we going next? Good question. Well, let's head over to... I don't know, uh... I'm going to Cerulean City. We are merely just using the uh, Cerulean City as a gateway to our next destination, which is Saffron City. Just gonna go ahead and use the bike, just to make things a little bit faster. All right. Oh, that tea. It looks awfully tasty. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. Glug, glug. Gulp. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. 
So, basically what happens is that unless you get the tea from the one woman in Celadon City, then you will not be able to enter Saffron City from any of the four uh, entrances slash exits, which are to the north, south, east, and west, respectively. Um, so, yeah. Um, make sure that you grab the tea from the one woman in Celadon City, so then you can pass by. Apparently the guards were just really, really thirsty, and... They were like, oh man, I really wish I could go and get a drink, but I can't because I'm on guard duty. It's like, well then just get more guards. Alright, more hyper potions. I'll get some full heals. Maybe a few max repels just in case. Excellent. All right, so let's go enjoy Saffron City. Wait, wait a minute. Ow, watch where you're walking. Rude. Oh, hey, look, a Pokemon gym. Uh, oh, okay. Wait. Black clothes, black hat, a giant red R on the T-shirt. <gasps> This place has been taken over by Team Rocket! No! I call shenanigans? This is a bunch of malarkey. Well, at least the Pokemon Center seems fine enough. Silphco, office building. Ugh. Ha! He's taking a snooze. Well, Silphco is said to be pretty much like the biggest and most important building in all of Saffron City, so we might as well go check it out. I mean, if this guy's snoozing on the job, then I might as well see what's going on. Ah, yes, good. I can run inside in this particular place. Hey kid, what are you wandering around here for? Oh gosh. This is gonna be bad. I mean, I was just coming here to check everything out, but apparently everything's gone terribly wrong. Considering Team Rocket has taken over all of Celadon City, this is not good. Or not Celadon. Well, they already took over Celadon City, but I already got them. I already kicked them out. They've taken over all of Saffron City. This is not good. Let's get Testament out here. He hasn't really seen that much of the spotlight recently. But we are going to change that now. So one thing that I want to point out is that all of the Pokemon in this, I guess, dungeon, I guess, that's this, I mean, it basically is a dungeon considering that there's a lot of, I mean, there aren't any random encounters, but there are a lot of trainer battles, but like, basically what, what I'm trying to say is that all of them are so much weaker than the Pokemon that I have right now. And I'm not exactly sure about the, uh, the gym boss on the gym fight. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how strong those Pokemon are, but it almost seems as if uh, you're supposed to come to Saffron first and then go to Fuchsia. I'm not 100% sure about that because the way that it's laid out is that you're supposed to go to Fuchsia first and then Saffron, and yet I was fighting level 40 something, or like high 30s, low 40s over in. Saffron, or, uh, I'm getting confused with the names, in Fuchsia, and yet I'm fighting, like, high 20s, low 30s here, so, something's up. I mean, it's nice that you can choose exactly which path, where you want to go, considering there's, like, three paths you can take to, uh, to make progress. 
You can either go to Fuchsia City first by either taking the long route uh, around through Lavender Town and through routes uh, 13, 14, and 15, or you can go from Celadon to down the cycling road and get to Fuchsia that way. Or you... Why did I do double kick? That was a silly idea. Or you could always just go um, down to Saffron first and then go to... Uh, go to Fuchsia afterwards. But I guess I... Uh, I don't I don't really know. But yes, there are many trainer battles to be had in this in this gigantic tower building, office building. All right, let's see. Those are blocked off. It's off limits here. Go home. Well, if you're just going to be rude, then of course I'm going to say no. Sonic Boom! Magna might, more like Magnum, you might get knocked out. Nailed it. Alright, let's see. Voltorb. Duh. What do I choose? Horn attack, go. Oh, let's go. Yay! Magneton. Yes. Alrighty. Huh. What's whoa? Great for this. Just more teleporting panels. I'm just gonna switch around the party a little bit. Hiya. You're causing us problems. Well, you're causing me problems. You're also causing a lot of problems for everybody else. You've literally just broken into a giant office building and are just taking everyone hostage and just asking for a little, like... Do you even know what you're doing?! You're the ones who are causing everyone else's lives to have problems. You you guys are the villains here. At least how I look at it. However, you guys, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. You guys could be thinking, oh yeah, we're totally doing the right thing. Two sides, the same morality coin. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of trainer battles, but luckily they won't take that long considering my Pokemon are so much higher level. Oh, can't get through there. There are some teleporter pads. I think there's a hidden item around here somewhere. Eh, whatever. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! Nice critical testament. Well, then again, you are using Slash, so of course you would have a higher critical chance rate. And I'll just keep using Slash. It's pretty much his best move right now. Ouch.
Fine, then I'll just get Haseo out here. Shadow Punch. Boom. Dude, you can use Smog all day. It really won't do that much to Haseo. I mean, it only did one damage. Come on, man. Is that the best you got? Huh? Well, now you got nothing. Now you got a whole lot of nothing. Oh no, brothers! Yeah, oh brother is right. Jeez. Ooh. An iron. Team Rocket's boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen if that tyrant takes over our company? Very good question. Hmm, beds. Can I sleep in here? I cannot sleep in here, no! That would've been really nice, actually. Hey buddy, how's it going? That's as far as you'll go! I'll take you out and be on my way, okay, thanks. This was the wrong matchup. After I take care of this guy, I think I'll call it a day. Let's use Fly. There are a lot of trainer battles uh, from this point onward, but at least these are kind of important, considering that they're uh, that they are Team Rocket fights. So at least it's not just like random random people on the street just saying, "Hey, you Pokemon battle, let's go!" Like at least I'm actually like doing something interesting and stopping a criminal organization. And then after all this is settled, then I can go and take care of the, uh, the Pokemon Gym. But, there is also, uh, in this particular city, in, uh, Saffron, there are actually two gyms. There is the, uh, training gym, or the pre-gym, and then there is the actual gym. Because, basically what happened is that there was originally one Pokemon Gym here, and then, uh, the other one kind of came in and kind of, they had a battle over exactly who was going to be like the the actual gym, the actual like main gym. And so the 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 pre-gym obviously lost. And so now, uh, now we have kind of a pre-gym for training and then we also have a, um, a, the regular gym for the actual uh, gym battle challenge. Alrighty, well. That'll wrap things up for today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the next episode, we will be taking on uh, more po uh, more Team Rocket grunts and saving those who are trapped inside here in Silph Co. So, thank you very much for watching this episode, and until next time, everyone, fare thee well.